New Headway Pre-Intermediate, 4th Edition, Students' Book. Unit 2, Tape Script 2.1 Mammy Rock, The Granny DJ Ruth Flowers is not an ordinary grandmother. She's in her 70s and has silver hair and bright red lipstick. She's a DJ and works in clubs in Europe and tours festivals. She lives alone in Bristol. She says, I've got a son and a grandson. They think what I'm doing is very cool. She likes rock bands, such as Queen and the Rolling Stones. But she also plays electro and dance music. I love being with young people, she says. They've got so much energy and enthusiasm. She's planning another European tour and is currently making a new single. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, she says. I don't want it to stop. Tape Script 2.2 The Super Jam Millionaire Fraser Doherty is an extraordinary young man. He has his own company, Super Jam, which he started when he was just 16. I earn more money than my parents, he says. His company makes jam, 500,000 jars every year, using a secret recipe from his grandmother. All the major supermarkets sell his products. The business is growing fast. Four flavours at the moment, but more on the way. And he has a charity that organises huge tea parties for old people, with live music and dancing. At the moment I'm very busy. I'm writing a cookbook. I've got an idea for a TV programme. And we're trying to get into the American market. Tape Script 2.3 Ruth Flowers What does Ruth do? She's a DJ. Where does she work? She works in clubs in Europe. How many children does she have? She has one son, and she also has a grandson. What sort of music does she like? She likes Queen and the Rolling Stones, and she also likes electro and dance music. Why does she like young people so much? Because they're so energetic and enthusiastic. What's she doing at the moment? She's planning another European tour, and she's making a new single. Fraser Doherty What does Fraser do? He has his own company that makes jam. How much does he earn? He earns more than his parents. How many jars of jam does he make every year? He makes half a million jars a year. Whose recipe does he use? His grandmother's. It's a secret recipe. What's he writing? He's writing a cookbook. What's he trying to do? He's trying to get into the American market. Tape Script 2.4 An Interview with Ruth do you like being famous? Oh, <laughs> don't be silly. I'm not really famous. I'm just an old lady who's having fun. But it is unusual for someone your age, if you don't mind me saying, to be DJing in clubs for young people. Well, I just like the music. And I don't want to be an old woman in an old people's home watching television all day long and going to church once a week. Why do you do it? I DJ because the energy is fantastic. Because I love to see young people enjoying themselves. Because it makes me happy. Does your family agree with you? <laughs> my family thinks it's great. Some of my friends say that it's not right for a woman my age to be wearing these clothes and Staying out all night. <laughs> and what do you say to them? Huh. I say it's none of their business. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you want to do something, you can. Tape Script 2.5 
An interview with Fraser. Do you like being a businessman? Oh yes, I love it. I like the planning, the marketing, the selling. I like meeting people and talking about my business and everything about it. It seems to me you really love what you're doing. It's true, I do. Do you have any free time? Ah,、uh, a bit, but not a lot. What do you do in your free time? I go out with my friends. I go to clubs. I love walking. Have you got a girlfriend? Well,、uh, that's none of your business. Sorry.、Um, who do you live with? I live with a group of friends in a flat in Edinburgh. It's not far from my parents' house. Do you see much of your parents? I see them all the time. We're very close. Tape script two point six. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Have you got a bike? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. I don't have a camera. I haven't got an iPod. Tape script two point seven. Things I like doing. Play games on my PlayStation. Go out with my friends. Download music and films. Send emails and texts. Shop for clothes online. Have a lie-in. Relax in front of the TV. Meet friends for a drink. Listen to music. Go out for a meal. Get a takeaway pizza. Do nothing. Read magazines. Chat to friends online. Go to the gym. Watch a football match live on TV. Tape script two point eight. Listen, check, and practice. One. I like shopping in the high street, but mainly I shop online. Two. When I hear a band I like, I download their music from the internet. Three. I listen to music on my iPod when I go jogging. Four. I spend hours chatting to friends online, even though I'm with them all day at school. Five. Sometimes I like to chill out at home and do nothing. Six. I'm always so tired after work. I just want to relax in front of the TV. Seven. On Saturdays, I have a lie-in and don't get up till midday. Eight. Do you want to cook tonight, or shall we get a takeaway pizza? Nine. It's Pete's birthday tonight, so we're going out for a meal. Indian, I think. Ten. I like keeping fit. I go to the gym three times a week. Tape script two point nine. Money. The best things in life are free, but you can give them to the birds and bees. I want money. That's what I want. Your love gives me such a thrill, but your love won't pay my bills. I want money. Tape script two point ten. Two neighbours, Mrs. Crumble. I have the flat above that young man. I think his name is Alfie Smith. Because I see the postman delivering his letters, he never says hello. He hasn't got a job. Well, he doesn't go out to work at eight in the morning, and that's for sure. He doesn't get up till the afternoon, and he wears jeans and a t-shirt all the time.
He never looks smart. He certainly never wears a suit. Goodness knows where he gets his money from. It's funny. I never hear him in the evening. I've no idea what he does in the evening. There are people coming and going in and out of his flat all day long. I have no idea how many people are staying. Four, five. Have none of them got jobs? He's got a girlfriend. She's very pretty. Blonde hair, dyed. She's living with him. I know a lot of young people live together these days, but I don't like it. Living together and not married. It's not right. He always makes such a noise. Listen, there he is now. Music. He's listening to music. Why can't he turn it down? It's so loud. Young people these days have no manners. They live in their own world, and they just don't care about other people. They don't even notice old people like me. He probably doesn't know who I am. Tape script two point eleven. Two neighbours. Alfie. I've got this new flat. It's so nice. I really love it. I'm having such a good time. The only thing is, it's below an old lady, and that's a bit difficult. Her name's Mrs. Crumble. <laughs> I always say hello when I see her. How are you, Mrs. Crumble? Nice day, Mrs. Crumble, and all that. But she never replies. She just looks at me. I think she's deaf. She probably thinks I'm unemployed because I don't go out to work in the morning and I don't wear a suit. I think I wear really cool clothes. Well, I'm a musician. I play the saxophone, and at the moment I'm playing in a jazz club.、Uh, I don't start till eight at night, and I don't finish till two in the morning, so I sleep from three till eleven. There is only me living here, but my flat's a bit busy at the moment because some of the other guys in the band are using it to keep their instruments in, so they're always coming in and out. <laughs> I've got a lovely girlfriend. She's the singer in the band. She's so beautiful. <laughs> She lives the other side of town, but obviously I see her every day because we work together. She comes to my place sometimes.、Um, I know I make a bit of noise because I practice my saxophone. <laughs> See what I mean? What can I do? I have to practice somewhere. I know that old Mrs. Crumble is always watching me. It's sad because she has nothing to do. I feel sorry for her, and I'm always really kind to her, like I am to my own grandmother. But she's so suspicious of young people. She thinks we're all no good and take drugs. It's just not true. I work really hard. Tape script two point twelve. Making conversation. One, John and Maria. Hello, my name's John. What's your name? Maria. Hi, Maria. Where are you from? Italy. Ah, okay. Where in Italy are you from? Roma. Ah, Rome. I love Rome. It's beautiful. And what do you do in Rome? I'm a student. I see. And are you enjoying being in London? Yes. Well, I've got a class now, Maria. Bye. See you again. Bye. Not in my class, I hope. Two, Maggie and Jean Jacques. Hello, my name's Maggie. What's your name? My name is Jean Jacques. Nice to meet you, Maggie. And you. Where are you from, Jean Jack? I'm French. I live in Paris,、uh, Paris, as you say in English.、Uh, but I'm from the south, from Provence. Do you know the south of France? Yes, I do. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's true. It is. And you, Maggie? Where are you from? I'm from Scotland. Oh, really? I've never been there, but I'd like to. It's a beautiful country, isn't it? Very. Lots of mountains and lakes, 
What do you do in France, Jean-Jacques? I'm an architect. I design very expensive houses for very rich people. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting job. Mm. Are you enjoying being in London? Yes, I am, very much. I'm having a really good time. I think London's a really interesting city and there's so much to do. And you, Maggie, what do you do? Well, I'm a teacher. I work here. Oh, really? What class are you teaching? 3B. Oh, great! That's my class. You're my teacher. Oh, how <laughs> lovely. Well, it's nine o'clock. Let's go to class. What a good idea. I'll follow you. Tape Script 2.13 Making Conversation 1. What a lovely day it is today. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? Much nicer than yesterday. 2. Are you having a good time in London? Yes, I am. It's a very interesting city. There's so much to do. I love the shops. 3. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Same to you. Are you doing anything interesting? 4. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, I did. It was really good. I saw some old friends. What did you do? 5. What are you doing tonight? Nothing special. Just at home. What about you? 6. How's your mother these days? She's OK, thanks. She's feeling a lot better. Thank you for asking. 7. Did you watch the football last night? No, I didn't. I missed it. Was it a good game? 8. I like your shoes. Thank you. They're new. I got them last week in the sales. They're nice, aren't they? 9. If you have a problem, just ask me. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I will. Tapescript 2.14 Keeping a conversation going I was on holiday last month. Oh, really? Did you go away? Yes. I went to Italy. How wonderful. Italy's beautiful, isn't it? I think it's fabulous. I love all the history. Yes, and the buildings and all the art. Where did you go? Well, first I went to Florence and I spent a few days going round the museums. Oh, fantastic. Did you see the Statue of David? Oh, yes. Amazing. And then I went to see some friends who live in the countryside around Siena. Wow. Lucky you. Did you have good weather? Well, actually, the first day in the last... 